Good day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of the first arc here on the Pokemon Black Run of the Magnificent 12 playthrough here on the Heavy Physics channel. We are now going to go here to the gym itself. Pretty much what happens here is that now we talk to the guy here and pretty much will tell you what type of gym you'll be facing. Since we chose Oshawa, he says he it's incredible with the grass types. Let's go inside this interesting building. This is the, actually the first gym. Now what they've done here, ladies and gentlemen, is instead of just big huge buildings that contain gem elements of gyms, they've decided to make it more like common day appliances. So, what our first gym looks like is a actual restaurant, or a cafe, with these buttons. By the way, follow this, you'll be able to get from the first gym with ease. If you know your grass, water, fire trilogy, then this is a breeze. However, going inside the first gym, you'll be facing off against these trainers. Now. From the get-go, you'll realize that there's a major problem here. We have a spike! We have a level hike. Level 11, not a good level. Drops it down again. Oshawott goes water gun. Smacks them. I get hit by bike, which is not a good thing. Oshawott hits it with a water gun again. That carries on. Die. Yeah, he's going to die next turn. From a tackle, which hurts. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oshawa levels up, though. The experience you get is amazing. 196! But then we learn a useless move in the form of Water Sport, introduced in Gen 3 to counter fire usage. And it's not very good! It just reduces fire damage, and you already are, and you're a water type, you're immune to fire! God, some people are just annoying. Anyway, moving on. Press it, press the leaf button in front of the water curtain. And you get face another trainer here. Who has two Pokemon in her team. Which is not too surprising. First off, Waitress Tears. She'll uh, send out a patch right at level 10. And of course, I send out a Tepig at level, at level 10 as well. Yeah, now she uses Bide. Now the problem is though, Bide will not be strong enough. You won't be strong enough to take it down in two turns. So I think I'm gonna do a dick move for the moment, and I'm gonna prevent her from knocking out my Tepe, because I'm gonna need it. So I've decided to send down the monkey that would have been associated with this gym. Go Pensy! I hate doing this, but pretty much this is what we call Pokemon Dickery. Pansy already makes the noble sacrifice, allowing my Tepid to come back out and kick it ass. What a no Yeah, it tries bite again and then yeah, I take it out. I already. You can actually beat this thing, and quite simply too. 154 experience, level 11. Some pretty good levels. Move up there. Purloin. I'm not going to use the uh, this Pokemon again because I know for a fact it sucks. So, Oko Snowy. Snivy level 11, pretty good move here, Purloin. What kind of Pokemon needs is fucking Purloin, I mean, really. It just makes me hungry for its for a tenderloin now. Yeah, a steak. Mm, delicious, tasty steak. Yeah, we're we'll fine, we to finish it off. Take it down. I like that. And that's the end of that. Press this middle switch now and you'll be able to access this final battle here. Alright. I want people to know this is that this we're not gonna be port splitting this into two. No, we're gonna do the actual battle itself. The it's the guy that we met in the front of the bar. Hang on, that's the second one. That's the third one. Allow me to introduce you to these three brothers. Silen, Chili, and Cress. And because of that, they're telling you that their, their gym is basically simple. You have... only one of them can battle you, but it's choosing on the popular type. And since we chose water, Cress, Silen will be our opponent. The guy from the anime will have... if you already know what the anime is coming up, then you already know what's... Pretty much, let's begin the gym battle. First up is Silent, the first gym battle of the game. Let's do go. Silent has two Pokemon in his squad. First up to choose is Lillipup at level 12. 
high level, Snivy comes out. Now you want to get rid of. Now you want to use. Now this this thing has high defenses, so you may need to use Leer. Leer is very handy. However, it counts with Workup. Workup basically boosts attack and special attack. Pretty much a very nasty move. And then I smack it with a vine whip. He goes for another frickin'. He goes for another workup, which boosts his attack to a plus two. And one of the special attack he has to a plus two as well. I use Leer to reduce the defense to a minus two. So a minus two, and oh Christ. Take him out now! Before I lose embarrassingly. Anyway, Snivy Falls, you get 240 experience. Bloody hell. Moving it up there. You now send out Pan Sage. If you know the enemy, this is the Grass Monkey. So I send out my Fire Type to counter. Quite simple. Now, it's level 14. Three levels higher, but you can easily beat him. All they'll be doing is giving you a hard time with Vine Whip. I mean, it would have been more smarter if they actually gave him more moves, but apparently not. Even though it just does 4 damage every time. So, I want to finish him off now, because I'm pretty sure I'm in the correct area. But unfortunately, he goes into the red, which means if he's in the red, he uses a potion, which increases my frustration. So then I have to use Ember again. And don't worry, I'll use it again. I'll use it one more time. Give me a critical there, but I knock him out with a Ember attack, which eliminates him from the competition. 325 experience later. And that's it, Silent has been beaten and you have won the first gym. Pretty easy, isn't it? Saints Girl, you earn your first badge of the game, the Trio Badge. Oh yeah! And by the way, this is the first badge of the region. Like so. Nice new snazzy way of getting, um... Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon can be put to Pokemon to 20, will be out of question. They'll also give you TM83 Workup, which gets rid of a useless move somewhat. TM83 contains Workup, which can boost his attack and special attack, and TMs are now usable all you want. They're all novice gym leaders, and yes, there are seven more out there which we're going to encounter in due time. Right now, we're leaving. When you leave, you get confronted by this person. It's Fennel. Friend of Professor Unibear. And now you have to follow her inside her building. Oh, don't worry, this is a prelude to what we're going to be doing in the second arc of, the, of this um, Let's Play. The, gym, the gyms are going to be the conclusions of every arc. And there's only going to be eight arcs. There will be a, there will be a finale coming up. So anyway, she tells you that she's a scientist and she's researching trainers. Yeah. And she's a friend from college. Wait, what? College? What the fuck? When was college in this game in the first place? Anyway, she gives you hidden 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 machine number one. Cut. And we're going to be using Cut for this one because Cut allow we need to use Cut to get to the next location anyway. She tells you of a task that we have to do in the area that we've been before, which is of course the Dream Yard. She tells you that there's a Pokemon called Muna and she needs to catch some Dream Mist. We're going to be doing that, allowing her to use Game Sync, and pretty much we're going to be using this quite a bit. So we're done here, and we go back inside the Pokemon Center. And we heal our team. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Thanks everybody for tuning to the first this successful first arc of the Black Lights play. Yeah, you can see why I got six. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any more than that. Let's just pretend it's the three Pokemon I caught cry anyway. Thanks for tuning to the first arc, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've been patient and if you're gonna be patient with me, it will be starting arc too soon, as soon as I do it for summarization. So, um Thanks for watching and such.